It's another day in the life for a local mural artist, Jason Ruland, who works for a playground company full-time in Delano known as Landscape Structures. He makes a variety of sculptures, murals, and other works of art. He was self-taught from a very young age. My job description is industrial artist. Some of the things that I've done, I've done a lot of playgrounds, thousands of playgrounds all over the world. One's in Australia, we've got one's in the Middle East, we've got one's in Europe, um, Hawaii, California, all over the U.S. Um, some of the things I've done locally here is uh, the Como Zoo, gorilla sculpture, life-size silverback gorilla with a little baby gorilla on the side. Some giraffes that are there as well, over by the giraffe area. During his lunch breaks, Jason wrote a screenplay with the intentions of completing it into an independent feature film titled Thunder Island. As a kid, Jason would make horror films with his friends and do the makeup. Their main goal was spending time together to make films and having fun doing it. I did uh, special effects for about two dozen films between 1985 and uh, 2001. Some of the films were Crossfire, Carousel, King Mind, Legion, Last Rites, Bob Came From Outer Space, Batman and Robin, Lunacy. At home, Jason provides for his wife and four kids who are soon to be starred in his film along with their friends. He hopes to complete it with as low of a budget as he can. When I first started making the movie, I didn't want a big budget. And most of the budget was spent on going to ice cream shops after the filming and stuff. I think about my son and his best friend in it. They've been best friends since they were about six months old. They grew up together, they went to school together, they played sports together, and uh, they did a great job. These kids were tough. They endured six tough months of filming. Working with children is real tough, especially some of them weren't real experienced. And to try and make a movie with actors that aren't real experienced and try and, and contain it down to as few takes as possible is very challenging. Take 612. Take 1,312. Action. With a lot of hard work, a few months later, his filming is complete. Every scene was filmed right here in Minneapolis. The locations, he says, are the biggest parts of the story. Well, there was times where we'd go out filming. Uh, we'd have about eight kids, you know. We'd go out and filming uh, in the street corner in Minneapolis, and uh, that was a lot of fun, a lot of fun memories. These locations include Hennepin Island, Battle Creek Park, Bohemian Flats Train Bridge, and other places throughout Minneapolis, and even northern Minnesota. The locations in the movie were important to me. They were all places that I went to growing up. Uh, it's a fun movie. It doesn't take itself real seriously. I think that it's, uh, I think a lot of people will enjoy it. People will be able to look at it and go, oh, I've been there, I've been there. I know where that is. The film contains themes like opposite race best friends, bullies, and other aspects of ideal adventure films. Greatest inspiration, I'd say, was Robert Zemeckis, Steven Spielberg, Rick Baker. All of these things were topics Jason experienced as a child. He was interested in taking what he knew about making films and doing his best at it. The trailer is available online and it will debut in local theaters late March of 2017. From Vantage Digital Journalism.